bike. Raise one to right now. Maya, six years older than Condit. Carlos Condit will have a three and a half inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the British Columbia Athletic Commission, Commissioner Wayne Willows, our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Sign R, Sally Amato, Tony Weeks, and David Therrien. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, John McCarthy. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, live on Fox from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A big martial artist holding a professional record. 30 wins, 9 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the former WEC welterweight champion and the former interim UFC welterweight champion and the number four ranked welterweight contender in the world, the natural his opponent fighting out of the red corner a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter holding a professional record 23 wins six losses he stands six feet one is tall weighing in at 171 pounds fighting out of Sao Paulo Brazil presenting the three-time World Cup Jiu-Jitsu champion and the number three ranked welterweight contender in the world Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard or fight clean. If you want to, let's go to now. Good luck to both of you. Damian Maya, Carlos Condit, Big John McCarthy, our referee. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Get up. Here we go. Tonight's Fight Clock, sponsored by The Magnificent Seven, in theaters September 23rd, rated PG-13. Black trunks for the Southpaw, Damian Maya. Blue trunks for Carlos Condit, who's switching his stance early. And definitely staying a little bit lower in his stance, waiting for that Damian Maya takedown. Interesting stat, Damian Maya has a 30% success rate on his takedowns, while Carlos Condit only has a 40% defense rate. Okay, let's see what happens with takedown attempt one. Successful. And now, talking to Greg Jackson and Carlos, they've got an interesting game plan while Carlos' is back is on the map. Let's see what he does here in half guard, but they said if he gets flattened out, he's going to go to full guard and look really mainly to elbow. Instead of wasting energy to get up, they want to attack, 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 slice Damian Maya up with elbows and strikes. Maya, truly a lifelong martial artist. Second longest win streak in the division behind Stephen Thompson's seven fight win streak. He is so heavy here. Nothing flashy, but step by step. Look at pushing on the knee, immediately shoving that left knee to the floor, looking to get straight to mount. And now the back. This is not good for Carlos Khan. Fourth degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt on your back here early. Fresh, no sweat yet. Very dangerous. He is so hard to shake out of this position. Ricky Lundell right there next to Condit, his wrestling coach, his grappling coach. This is bad. This is where he finished Matt Brown. He only needed one arm. Can and he, he get it? Here it comes. is all over. Damian Maya chokes out Carlos Condit just like that. 
Wow. Maya has a ground game that is so unforgiving. And you can see Carlos laying down there. He's not hurt. He's just so disappointed. Move of the Fight, sponsored by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the Blazing Fast 4G LTE T Mobile Network for $30 period. And Damian Maya goes in for the high crotch, and he's gotten really good at his adjustments on his takedown attempts. Once he gets Carlos flat, starts working in, in half guard, and from there, got the mount, transition to the back, and he's so dangerous here. You, traditionally, you need to see a guy lock this choke up, have their form under your chin. Maya doesn't need to. He squeezes so hard from the sides that he actually shuts off the blood flow from the sides of your neck. He does not need to be completely under the chin. And there you see the tap. There's just no choice. He's just that good. Damian Maya, first round submission. Fans, what do you think will be the best move of the night? Continue to tweet and let us know at hashtag MetroMove. Tune into the FS1 UFC Fight Night Post Fight Show in just a matter of moments over on FS1 for the winning move. The Brazilian victorious in round number one. Fox UFC Fight Night, sponsored by Bud Light. Raise one to right now a very emotional Damian Maya, his ninth submission win. The only man who has had more in the octagon. Hoist Gracie, a disappointed Carlos Condit. Bruce Buffer will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Damian All right, I'm here with your winner, a very emotional Damian Maya. Damian, you've had a lot of big wins in the octagon. Where does this one stack up for you in your career? Because, you know, right now, I think this is six in a row. And this guy is just the former champion. This guy is a guy who knock, been knocking out everybody. You know, this is the guy who I watched his fight against Robbie Lawler in the first uh, line there. And many people think he won. And I also think, you know, so for me, he was the champion to come here and be able to put my work with all my respect that I have for him. And I knew it would be a hard fight. And I'm just so happy that, you know, I think now I earned the title shot. And, you know, now finally I will get the, the chance to fight for the title. Well, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's here. He is going to fight Tyron Woodley, the welterweight champion of the world, next. Are you planning to wait and fight the winner of that fight, or will you want to fight in between? No, if, I, if, if he, he will fight first, I will wait for the winner of, of uh, for the winner of, you know, Woodley and Wonderboy. Well, you are always a class act. You are a true master. Damian Maia, incredible performance. Absolutely. Pessoal do Brasil, pessoal que está aqui, muito obrigado. Muito obrigado pela força de vocês. Vocês acreditam em mim. A comunidade do jiu-jitsu toda. Eu luto por uma arte marcial, a nossa arte marcial jiu-jitsu brasileiro, que é muito maior do que qualquer país. Então, muito obrigado por tudo. Um beijo para o Lorenzo, para a Pietra, para a Renata. Amo vocês. E é isso aí. Vejo vocês no Brasil segunda. Valeu! With Carlos Condit, Carlos obviously disappointed, but you've put on some of the most exciting performances in the history of the welterweight division, in the history of the UFC. Everybody wants to know what's next. This can't be it for you. Do you plan to return to the octagon and, and begin another assault on the welterweight division? First off, congratulations to Damien. Uh, mad respect for him as a, as a martial artist and as a man. Uh, you, know, um, you know, as far as my future, I have no idea, Brian. Uh, you know, we'll just have to see. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm disappointed tonight. Uh, you know, what, what are you going to do? It wasn't my night. You've been an incredible sportsman, incredible athlete, and an amazing fighter. One of the most ex exciting guys in the UFC. Thank you so much, Carlos. We look forward to your return or what's next. Ladies and gentlemen, Carlos.